He's been a scorer. GP2. Curry tic tac toe and Peyton sends it down. Welcome to Dubs Talk. I'm Monty Poole, Dalton Johnson. We honored today to have Golden State Warriors guard forward center. <laughs> <laughs> the little big man. Look at him doing the push-ups at his ground. Gary Payton. We would call him a guard, but he's not a guard. We would call him a forward, but he's not a forward. Call him a center, but he's not a center. He's a little bit of all those things combined. Sort of. Just come Good to have it. you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for having for joining me. joining us. Thank you. What I want to do to start off here is, first of all, go back, if you could, to uh, when the Warriors reached out to you, well, when they reacquired you uh, back in February. Um, what were you doing on the day that it happened? And what was your reaction when you heard it was happening? Um, day of, day before we had just played Warriors. I think we won that game actually. Had some big free throws at the end of the game. The next day, uh, normal day, going in for practice, getting ready to practice on the training table, you know, getting warmed up. I think I was talking to Dame actually. And then uh, GM comes in and, he was like, I got to tell you something. Um, and he told me I'm going back to Golden State. And I had my phone in my pocket. So like right before I sat down, right before he said anything, my phone just started going crazy. And it was just kept vibrating, vibrating for like a cool like 10 minutes. So I was like, <laughs> all right, something, something. I knew I was going somewhere, but I didn't think I was coming back home. So um, he told me going back to the Bay. Went home, packed my bag, got on the first flight, got back to, you know, came back home. How did you feel in your heart when you heard uh, the news? My life went back to, you know, got my life back. The crowd erupts here. Let's welcome back Gary Payton, number two. It was a, a strange trade. I don't think I've ever seen a trade like that or something like that, you know. Um, but um, I was confused in the beginning. I was just like, I didn't think, you know, I was, they was going to send me right back. But, um, you know, I guess it worked out for everybody. You said it was like coming back home. Yeah. But... You and the Warriors found each other a year earlier, kind of, you know, where you went through five different franchises. You went through G League stuff, NBA, G League, NBA, G League, G League Defensive Player of the Year one year. I mean, you're doing all this. What was your journey like before you found the Warriors? I mean, just describe what you went through to get to that point where, okay, in 2021, you come with the Warriors and you stick. Uh, I think it was just uh, just since I got in and signed with an undrafted contract with Houston and then uh, didn't make that team, sent down to the G League, and then from there it was just, um, you know, just different steps, levels, um, experiences, uh, just opportunities. You know, I tried to create for myself to, I, gained, I got one 10 day, so um, after that happened with Milwaukee, I tried to get another one, and then the two way situation came, was a thing, and I did a two way for the Lakers bounce back and forth from G League to come up to play with the Lakers. And um, uh, I was just basically just building, you know, my resume and uh, continuing to grow as a player. And, you know, probably by the end of that, um, I think it was a bubble, G League bubble after 9.05. Um, I went home. I was just working out, you know, every day trying to stay ready. Uh, and I get a call from my agent and he said, uh, Golden State. And I was just like, the crazy thing about that is a couple years before it was like, if I ever get to Golden State, like, it's a perfect setup. Personnel is perfect for the way I play, and everything's just like, it's easy. Steal the ball, give it to 30. You feel me? <laughs> like, so it's just like, that's how my mindset was like, a couple years, like, when the Warriors started, you know, winning championships, I was just like, bro, if I ever get there, we're gonna win the championship. Like, no doubt about it, like, I can, I can help this team win, like, it's easy. So when I heard that, I was just like, a smile came on my face, like, only told me and my best friend, like, we only had conversations like that. So when that happened and he said, go to state, I was just like, I was like, dog, this is it. Like, <laughs> this is that moment. Like, this is that opportunity. So um, once I got there and started to get accustomed and feel everybody, feel, feel the energy and everything, and I wanted to stay. So like I said, I went through that, like, first 10 days, second 10 day. Um, they didn't know they was going to keep me or not. So, you know, I was just like, I was trying to find a way to stay because I felt it. Like, I felt like this was the fit. Like, this was, they let me be me. They let me do whatever I got to do. Steve wasn't worried about, you know, me shooting the ball at a high level. He just wanted me to be myself, and he know what I brought to the team. So uh, I was just trying to stay. Like, that story with the film room came up. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I don't want to go. You're going to cut me? Okay, let me at least be, you know, in the building still. So. Um, it worked out. They gave me another another chance, and you know I had to fight that next uh, off season. You know they brought some guys in that were battling for the same spot. So 
and I came off an injury. Um, and I was just waiting to get back right for that one shot. I had one game in L.A. preseason. And, you know, I had, to, I had to do what I had to do. I had to show him that, you know, I was here and I wanted to stay. So, um, you know, things worked out and, and I made it. In that journey, you talk about the mental strength and everything. How do you think that maybe can help younger athletes also? And have you been able to have those conversations with other athletes about kind of trusting the process in that journey and having the mental strength, all of that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of G League guys, you know, uh, come in acts, you know. Um, you know, what did I, like, what did I do and what, like, how did I stay mentally? And I, I usually tell them, like, everybody's path is different, you know. Um, some guys got to... Some guys got to take, you know, overseas deals, you know, for families and whatnot. And uh, my, my position that I was in, you know, I just try to just try to make it work off my first, you know, my first one with uh, Houston. And then um, I believed in myself and I knew going over the water and trying to, you know, taking the quick money and all that was like, it's going to be harder to get back over here, right? So I was just like, um, I'm going to thug it out here, um, you know, get cut one team, that's fine. Uh, I built a little resume, and let's try to add on to that, continue to work on my shot and whatnot. So, you know, any guys that come up to me and ask, especially like guys like me, you know, defensive guys that's just trying to get their foot in the door, all I say is um, pick up 94, you know, be disruptive. Um, defense will really get you on the court. And then after you're on the court for defense and your coach trusts you, you know, um, find ways to, on the offensive side uh, to fill in. If you got a screen, you can be a screen man and, you know, you, you get points.